Before the boys signed on, like all Bama players, they were inspected. If they had been small, or puny, or sickly, or misshapen, they would have been discarded. From the time they reached campus, they were baptized in the fire of two-a-days. Taught never to retreat, never to surrender. Taught that victory on the football field in service to Bama was the greatest glory they could achieve in their life. It is not fear that grips them, only a heightened sense of things. The fall air in their lungs, windswept pines moving against the coming night. Their hands are steady, their form perfect. And so the team, who left for Pasadena as mere players, returns to their people, sacred Alabama, champions, And now, a new round of opponents are approaching. Yet we are patient and confident, savoring the victories to come. These opponents are made of men and equipment, pads and cleats, armies of players vast beyond imagining. They are ready to defeat Alabama, ready to snuff out football's one true champion. Their helmets are stifling. They narrow their vision and they must see far. Their pads are heavy. They threw off their balance and their target is far away. For our goals are not week to week. Our reward lies at the conclusion of the season. To meet our expectations, anything short of a repeat will not do. This is Bama. championship and the roses in this grand old stadium are once again crimson